Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FP page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurophysician from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the two books Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to kick start with another important concept, the concepts of sensory system. The concepts of sensory system part 1, approach to sensory system and peripheral nerve function. Introduction. The sensory motor integration is necessary for normal nervous system function, but disease may affect motor or sensory functions independently. Normal somatic sensation reflects a continuous monitoring process, little of which reaches consciousness under ordinary circumstances. By contrast, disordered sensation, particularly when experienced as painful, is alarming and dominates the patient's attention. The peripheral nerve. A peripheral nerve consists of axons of three different types of neurons. One, the primary sensory afferents. Two, motor neurons. Three, sympathetic postganglionic neurons. All sympathetic postganglionic fibers are unmyelinated. The cell bodies of primary sensory afferents are located in the dorsal root ganglia within the vertebral foramina. The primary afferent axon has two branches. One projects centrally into the spinal cord and the other projects peripherally to innervate tissues. The primary afferents. <coughs> primary afferents are classified by their diameter, degree of myelination, and conduction velocity. The largest diameter afferent fibers A beta respond maximally to light touch and or moving stimuli. They are present primarily in the nerves that innervate the skin. In normal individuals, the activity of these fibers does not produce pain. There are two other classes of primary afferent nerve fibers, the small diameter myelinated A delta fibers and the unmyelinated C axons. These fibers are present in nerves to the skin and in deep somatic and visceral structures. Some tissues such as cornea, which is very very important, are innervated only by A delta and C fiber afferents so as to appreciate the pain sensation. Most A delta and C fiber afferents respond maximally to intense painful stimuli and produce the subjective experience of pain when they are activated. Primary afferent nociceptors or pain receptors. The ability to detect painful stimuli is completely abolished when conduction A delta and C fiber axons is blocked. These are the important concepts of the approach to sensory system. The other important concepts of clinical neurology I have put in a book exam oriented clinical neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas which is very useful for clinical neurology exams. The other important concepts of neurology I have put in a question and answer format in a book called Focus Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is very much useful for oral exams or VIVA and this book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon and if interested this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of approach to sensory system. If you have enjoyed it, please like and share the link. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, 
Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my webpage, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.